In this episode, we venture inside a Chinese abandoned theme park as the first urban explorers. And it turns out, we are incredibly lucky this time. Oh, no. Hi, I'm Bob, an urban explorer. And with friends, I explore the most amazing abandoned places worldwide. I'm on a trip in China and have already explored some amazing places, such as a former secret underground military train workshop and a paper plant with my companions Robin and Charles. After having explored some amazing abandoned Chinese theme parks on my previous trip, it's time to explore another amazing theme park. I travel to my destination and meet up with Andy, a Chinese explorer who loves theme parks. This particular park hasn't been explored since its closure, so we are thrilled at the prospect of exploring it. So here we have a first view in the park, and it's a big one. So after some hours of traveling, I met up with Andy, and we're gonna explore this theme park. This is Canal Paradise, or how the Chinese call it, Kilai Valley, a 450,000 square meter or 111 acres theme park which opened on July 6, 2013. The park is based on the five major canals in the world. It's the first canal themed park in China and was open all year round. It was divided in six areas, Amsterdam, Suez, Kiel, Panama, Vibrant Canal and Impression Canal. Well, turns out the battery of my gimbal is still in the suitcase. Great. Luckily, Charles is also on his way and will pick up my battery. We stay around the entrance and wait until he arrives. So this theme park is all about canals and Amsterdam is also included. It are these houses. In these Amsterdam style streets of the Netherlands, you could find restaurants, bars and department stores. Pretty well made. I think you can see them in most theme parks. But I think I saw better ones. It's blocked off to check if I can get in from the other side. So one park was blocked, but here it's open. But it looks like everything has been emptied and they're working here. Let's take a look at the front gate. It seems that nobody cares about this theme park anymore. Oh. Oh. <laughs> seems there's no security at all. Damn. Charles arrived with my battery for the gimbal. You're my hero. I came to save you. <laughs> yeah, and we're now going to explore this amazing theme park. I saw a little part already. No security, so we can just walk around in peace. Finally. <laughs> this park was abandoned in September of 2022, or probably one year ago. Only one year. Yeah. When you walk inside, it looks like it's abandoned for five or ten years. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's really? the biggest the theme park in the north, north part of Jiangsu province. Looks promising, eh? Let's go. First, we have to hide our suitcases. <laughs> Independent place with a suitcase. <laughs> hey! Avi! <laughs> oh! It's <laughs> funny. Checking in. Finally, we can start exploring. So I walk into one of the gift shops right now. All the doors are smashed because there's no security. So in other episodes, we saw everything was intact. Even people saying I was faking that there was security. What is it? Hiding for people again. But here you can see the result when there's no security. You see a lot more vandalism. Everything has been stolen. Maybe they took it out. It's hard to say. Damn, it's too bad there's nothing inside anymore. 
there's an upper floor. Let's see if we can find something up there. Damn it, that's two extra floors. Completely empty. So this is the Amsterdam part, but it seems people live there. At least there's something going on there. Okay, another smashed part. Whoa, this is a weird experience. I did something similar in Tokyo, where it feels you're in an endless room. Let's go to one of the mirrors, see myself better. <laughs> Just a few lights and some mirrors. There's another room. Let me check what's this. Just some mirrors. I think there was an effect where you could look down, but it's dusty. You can see they put some kind of ladder here. Fake bones laying around, probably from the ghost house. This exhibit was especially made to make famous Instagram pictures. Here in China, it will be a red book. There. Oh, look at this. I think there was a long queue here. I think you could make some pretty cool pictures in here, man. You get dizzy already. <laughs> this is not too special, I guess. Maybe with black light, it would illuminate. So the screen was for the romantic pictures. Mm. Ah, this looks also cool. I think they had a moon with a lot of stars. Let me check what's on the ground here. Ah, entry tickets. Even in English. Children less than 1.2 meters. And also a VIP card. Unlimited access. Homer Simpson. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This fella I've never seen before. Beautiful. The last security disappeared too. A lot of garbage. Unbelievable. Such a large theme park, no security. It's a first timer. So the theme park is only abandoned for a year, but see how it looks like, man. <laughs> In one year, everything is already falling apart. Bricks on the ground everywhere. Egyptian parts with some hieroglyphs. Yeah, not actually the real, real ones, but they look a bit similar. A part just fell down. <laughs> oh my god. I never wear helmets. I shoot in some places, like in caves, but I think here it's even more dangerous. Nothing in here. You see some of the Amsterdam houses right over there? park looks like a mess. Already gravity. I think I've seen some parks which were abandoned for almost 10 years and there wasn't a single tag inside. So you see what's the difference between secured and not secured. <laughs> Damn, lots of rubbish. This will be probably empty too. But I think some people asked for more crew areas and behind the scenes at a theme park. So I'm gonna try to show you a bit more of the machinery and also offices and all kind of other off-limits areas. Oh, the waiting line was actually until here. <laughs> you got a three or four floor waiting line. Oh, wow. Okay, I think this is unfinished, but Look at the construction. I think it was a 4D experience, like we've seen in some other theme parks. 
We find ourselves at the Flying Theater. It once was the most advanced movie theater in the world. I don't know how this got built, but when it looks like this, after one year of abandonment, something is wrong. I guess here they place the LCD screens. I think they were still finishing it. I think the projectors were right over there. There you can see concrete still has to be made. Opa. Oops. Oh. Oh yeah. Here is another security car. So in Holland it's called a children's farm, I believe, with goats, sheep, rabbits. Yeah, the zoo part. Ah. Korea, America, Serengeti. Strange comparison. Yeah, I guess they had some peacocks walking in here. And here an extra fenced off area. Hmm. Wow, a giant artificial peacock made from fake plants. So convenient for once to just walk on the big roads without the chance of being spotted. <laughs> the glass door smashed again, of course. Nice for the little ones. This is waiting for us. Amazing. Well, looks like we still have to cover most of the park. This ride is called Heaven on Earth. It's a drop tower with an operating height of 56 meter, 184 feet. You really wonder what happened here in the last year. Ui ui, all those spelling mistakes. Time for the next ride. Looks like the entry of the Karnak Temple with the statues in front of it. It's gonna be a 4D experience. Let's go. Uh -huh. uh. Oh. Inside, the ride has no resemblance to Egypt, but more with an Indiana Jones temple. This attraction is called the Dark Ride. It's a 4D experience combined with stunt performances, disaster simulation, and more. No. no, no, no. Okay. Nice, these cards. Totally messed up. 
Looks like some thieves went through here. Let's move to the next area. This area is about the Kiel Canal, located in Germany. It features several trail rides. So why did the park become abandoned? Well, reviews show customers complained about the high entry prices. In its final operation years, adult admission was around $25, with children's tickets priced at $11 and that didn't even cover access to all attractions. Within just two years of opening, visitor numbers dwindled, ultimately resulting in bankruptcy on January 29, 2019. The park was then sold for 180 million RMB, equivalent to around $25 million, and reopened as the Cupid theme park in 2021. However, upon reopening, numerous rides were found uninspected, suspended or damaged, prompting its closure once again in September 2022. Funny. All the roller coasters I've seen in abandoned theme parks, they all look the same. This is the Dragon Raw, a suspended loop coaster, the most thrilling coaster of the park. It's 800 meter or half a mile long and 32 meter or 104 feet high, with a speed of 77 km per hour, around 50 miles an hour. The ride had a capacity of 20 persons. The roller coaster had a loop, side winder and double inline twist. Suddenly, we spot somebody. Not knowing if he belongs to the theme park, we walk to the opposite side of the park to avoid a confrontation. We're back at the entry of the park, now walking another direction. To check it every week. Ah, there's just, just steps where they yeah, have to check it. Yeah. Oh. Every items, different items. Now you see really how much maintenance is needed to keep it clean. Yeah, yes. It 
It's a big boat. You see many of the same rides in the parks, like the same roller coasters. And this one I saw also in another theme park, exactly the same. I wonder what's in here. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's electric. Oh, look at this one. Five in a row. <laughs> SpongeBob, Hello Kitty, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Look, they even have illegal figures of angry birds here. And also Snoopy and Peppa Pig. So what area was this, Charles? This other one is Panama. All right. I'm curious what we will see there. Jesus! <laughs> Luckily made it out alive. We saw this before, crumbling buildings. Oh, this is a first timer at a jellyfish exhibit. So this park featured a lot more than just some rides. Charles, this is the style of my bar at home. Yes, yes, I can remember.
sniper. We walk back to the kill area, where we saw activity before. This is the last part we still need to explore. This is the giant frisbee, imported from the German Haas company. It has a height of 23 meters, 75 feet, a maximum swing of 118 degrees and a capacity of 52 people. We enter the ghost house, an attraction that costed an additional fee. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Charles, it's the worst ghost house I have ever seen. Things are use. So we heard a guy with yeah. tools, and probably he made electricity here. The sun is setting, and we finish our exploration for today. In the evening, oh. we play some custom bowling. Okay, go. The next day, a surprise awaits us. So guess what guys, I came back for some drone shots. Turned out yesterday was the last day it was abandoned. Oh, no. Dozens of workers show up and start cleaning the park. It also looks like some interested buyers get a tour in the park. We've been really lucky. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more epic abandoned places.